All right, we got stuff crammed up in here. Well, I guess uh, we set up over close to the doorway. Thomas, why don't you go ahead and uh, go in there to where the wellhead is okay. and uh, get a clean spot and hook the wire to it. OK. After more than two months of new investigations on Skinwalker Ranch, we're finally starting to make possible connections that might explain some of the bizarre phenomena that keep happening here. Oh, look at that. The highly conductive black material we obtained last week, about 100 feet below the triangle area, where we've also seen a bunch of weird things, including UFOs, was located right where a recent magnetometry survey revealed a huge anomaly. Well, that same survey showed another similar feature right here beneath Homestead 2. We want to know if there could be some kind of connection between the high strangeness we've seen at both of these sites. So Eric and I have devised an experiment to actually measure the conductivity, where we're going to use the well pipe and a conductor grounding rod separated by about 50 or 60 feet. And we're going to connect those to a wire through a multimeter that will measure voltage and current, and then that to a 12-volt car battery. Now, the key here is that the circuit is open. The only thing connecting them is dirt. We got that end connected to the ground wire, and that end is connected to the well. So if the dirt is highly conductive, then current should flow out of the battery through our measuring device, through the wire, to the copper rod, through the dirt, up through the well, back through the wire, and back to the battery. If that's the case, that'll tell us how conductive the dirt is. If we do measure a lot of conductivity in the soil out here, do you think that would explain some of the crazy feelings people have, some of the instrumentation going haywire, stuff like that? Maybe, but here's the thing that's missing, the battery. Right. We'd have to figure out where the battery's coming from. Yeah, we don't so, know what would energize that phenomenon. There's still a power source somewhere that we had not figured out, but we're hoping this will help us maybe get to that. I've wondered for a long time whether there might be some kind of underground energy source. Some people have expressed the belief that aliens are somehow involved. And we may be on to why a conjectured alien civilization or some ancient Earth civilization may have used the area as a power storage. Are we ready to do this? I say we are. Is that the other end hooked up? Yep. All right, Eric, hook All it right. up. Let's go. There, look at that. Oh, wow. Wow, significant. That's almost a, a third of an amp. Wow. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be barely one little digit move. 0.3 amps is flowing through 50, 60 feet of soil here underneath us at Skinwalker Ranch at Homestead 2. I've never seen anything like that. There should be nothing. It should be billions, maybe even trillions of an amp. It's like we have a, a transmission line, like a power line, running underground, but everywhere underground. Mm -hmm. And so what does that mean? It means if there's a power source or something stimulates it, then electrical current is flowing all everywhere under the ground, and everywhere electric current flows, a magnetic field is created. All right. Seeing how big that current is makes me think I might be able to power a flashlight off. Oh, yeah. That's you have one? Idea. So I've got one back here in the, in oh, the nice. uh, Pelican case. It should be pretty easy to test this yeah. out. So I wanna, what I want to do is break so, yeah, right there. What we're doing. Well, that was interesting. So that's connected directly so, to Yeah, this just beeped because you just disconnect the power. It was this. Wait, what? That just went off? Yeah, just as you disconnected that, this, this you electrostatic. You set off the lightning meter. Yeah, now that's interesting. That is very interesting. When we took the battery out of the circuit, the lightning detector would go off. I don't think I have a good understanding of why that happened. Do it again. What wow. That. You're, conducted, you're conducting energy up through the ground as trigger, that somehow is triggering that thing. What? We, that's repeatable. Look at that. For Eric's lightning detector to go off during this experiment, not only verified that the ground here at Homestead 2 is strangely conducted just like the triangle area, but also that we may have stimulated some kind of phenomena. Or as Thomas Winterton always says, a response from the ranch.
There's enough current flowing through the ground off of a 12-volt battery to set the lightning detector off? That's right. This is crazy. 